I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit obsessive about coffee. But I know I'm not alone. Everywhere I look, I see signs that more and more people are waking up to the rich and complex flavors that can come through a well-grown, well-roasted, and well-brewed cup. Once obscure brewing methods like the Chemex or V60 systems are becoming ever more common and single origin beans, meaning beans that come from a single farm and not a regional or continental blend, are becoming more and more available to coffee aficionados. 20 years ago I was lucky to be able to find a generic French roast blend at the grocery, but now my collection includes Ethiopian Yergachev, Sadamo, Honduran, Guatemalan, and many more. I know the names of several of the farmers who grow these beans. Yes, we are in the midst of what coffee experts call the third wave, and it shows no sign of cresting anytime soon. In Nashville, especially in the east side of town where we live, independent coffee shops are the norm. In fact, we don't even have a Starbucks in our neighborhood, but we do have five independent stores, and each of these shops is a unique gathering place where people come to work, to socialize, to hear music, and to drink great coffee. No, seriously, great coffee. Several of these establishments are committed not only to supporting sustainable coffee growers who treat their employees with dignity, fairness, and respect, but they dedicate a certain percentage of their receipts to directly supporting nonprofits that are changing lives overseas and right here in town. I love these shops and I support them regularly, but the coffee I brew at home is kind of my favorite. Through many years of experimentation and practice, I've dialed it in pretty well. It's no big secret though, you could have the best coffee in your neighborhood too. World-class coffee comes down to a few basic principles. The coffee beans, the roast, the grind, the water quality, and the extraction or how much of the coffee solids are suspended in the water. So yes, amazing coffee really comes down to the beans, the roast, the grind, the water, and the brew. Like any crafted thing, it might take some time for you to dial in your perfect cup, but it's worth the effort. But there is more to this than science. For me, coffee is a spiritual thing too. In many ways, my pursuit of the perfect cup has taught me about the importance of community, the goodness of God, and the radical concept of value. These are the ideas I explore in Jesus Bread and Chocolate, crafting a handmade faith in a mass market world. Find yourself a good cup of coffee and check it out.